Unemployment is on the rise since the revolution, about 12 percent, but among young graduates, about 30 percent. Youth are marching uh, and protesting for high cost of living, the lack of jobs, the inflation. Um, and I think for me, the ultimate problem is inequality. There is a huge rising inequality between rich and poor, filling the middle class. There's a huge economic disparities between regions, uh, northwest uh, of Tunisia, the coastal and uh, interior and southern regions. So it's, uh, it's quite intense right now. Um, but I wanted to say that uh, this is not new for January. Uh, since 2011, we have had protests almost every year in January. So I don't think this should be a surprise to the world or to, the, to our dear governments. I think they should have anticipated this after putting in effect uh, the budget on 1st of January. Uh, you, of course, were involved in the 2011 protests. How are you assessing the mood right now? Are we seeing the same kind of anger, the same kind of movement across Tunisia? Yeah, I mean, uh, for me, when I'm sometimes asked after every protest if this is uh, a new revolution or a new uprising, um, I always clarify that we are not done yet. This is an ongoing uh, continuous campaign that started in 2010, kicked out the dictator in 2011, continued in 2013 with Barjo sittings, continued in 2015 with Manishim Sameh, I will not forgive anti-corruption movements, and continues today to be reshaped in this slogan, what are we waiting for? So this is a continuous campaign that started in 2010, and it's, it's calling for um, dignity, it's calling for employment, it's calling for uh, ending inequality. Um, it's, it's the same anger, but it's a kind of campaign that is merging, re-emerging in different ways, but it always has a youth face. Uh, I, uh, where does it end, though? Because this current government has said, look, we have to bring in these uh, reforms to get the economy back on its feet. This will be the last tough year for Tunisians, and then it will get better. Do you not believe him? No, I think we should... Uh, the, the answer to, uh, to inequality is ending. Uh, inequality. It's uh, not sacrificing the poor and the middle class by raising prices and ignoring tax evaders and businessmen. Uh, that's what we should be focusing on, on having justice uh, of corrupt hands and not on arresting youth for protesting at night. These kind of protests emerged very organically in 10 different towns in Tunisia and before it turned violent. And it's really upsetting to hear some politicians, especially from a Nahda party. I was watching yesterday Hossein Jaziri, member of a Nahda party and a parliamentarian, saying these are uh, looters, these are criminals. And it reminds me of a narrative we heard in 2011. We were called troublemakers and uh, criminals. Uh, so we should... Um, understand that violence can become a language and that these are Tunisian citizens. They're not wanting, uh, waiting for you to call them something on, they're not even caring about accusing them of anything. They are wanting answers. What are we waiting for? And arresting, as you, you were putting there, 300 people, uh, there was 50 people who were arrested overnight and that's not the answer to their despair.